Happy New Year, everyone. Bringing 2013 with a few thoughts on dates and calendars. Number one, midnight. Whenever someone talks about midnight on a certain day, the question sometimes comes up of whether it's the midnight starting the day or ending it. Short answer, starting. Why? Consider the traditional New Year's countdown. When the clock strikes midnight, we consider it the new year, that is, the 1st of January. This midnight is the beginning of the 1st of January, not the end of the 31st of December. Consequently, this should be applied for any day of the year. Number two, Turns of centuries and millennia. A while back, we rang in the turn of the 21st century, the third millennium, and the technological, not really horrors of Y2K. Except, the last one came earlier than the others. It might seem intuitive to celebrate these turns on years ending with zero, but that ignores the calendar system that goes back to ancient Roman times. At the time, Romans didn't have the concept of zero, and most historians agree that they didn't have room for a year zero between BC and AD. So the year right after 1 BC was AD 1. So the first millennium AD started with AD 1, and the second millennium started 1,000 years later with AD 1001. You might be able to see where this is going. The third millennium started another thousand years later with AD 2001. Sorry, a similar argument can be made with centuries. The first century started with AD 1, so the second century started with AD 100, and so on until the 21st century, which started with AD 2001. More recently, if you celebrated the new decade with 2010, well, you can figure it out. Number 3. CE, or Common Era. I tend to use AD for Anno Domini, in the Year of the Lord, and BC, or Before Christ, since they're more widely understood. But I'll be fine with CE, or Common Era, and BCE, or Before Common Era. I won't discuss which is better or should be used, but I will say that opponents don't have much going for them if they accuse CE and BCE of being politically correct inventions. The term vulgar era, vulgar meaning of the common people, can be found in a 1635 book, Ephemerides of the Celestial Moons for the Years of the Vulgar Era, 1633, 1634, 1635, 1636. Its use in land can be traced back earlier, to a 1615 work by Johannes Kepler, with the phrase, Anno arai nostrae vulgaris, or in the year of our common era. Perhaps the politically correct usage is new, but the term itself is not. This is some Anon 126, again wishing everyone a happy new year.